cold emailing is dead, right? Well, at, at least the way you're still probably doing it is, right? Most people are still stuck sending out emails like it's 2015, generic, lazy, just a mass blast. And now even with AI, you would assume that, you know, this would get a little bit better, but people are just sending bad emails faster, right? Now, if you use AI the right way for timing, for targeting, uh, using automation, you'll win. I can't cross here. Uh, by the way, if you're new here, my name's Jake Dawson. On this channel, we focus on uh, all things AI, automation, and, and making your workflows smarter, faster, uh, and actually work for you instead of the other way around. All right, let's get back to why the uh, traditional model of cold emails fails now. So sending hundreds of emails, right? That's gonna equate to no replies and that's going to equate to your frustration. And for people who have been in the game for a while, they might just say, oh, it's a numbers game. Just send more. Well, that's not gonna work because now inboxes are getting overloaded. It's just becoming noise. Uh, not to mention s spam filters are becoming smarter. Um, so you're lucky to even get in the inbox at this point. So it's 2025, guys. In the past five years, if your emailing strategy has not evolved, you're not just behind, you're invisible. So now we know fake personalization doesn't work. You know, the whole generic, hey, name. I saw we went to uh, the same school. Uh, hope you're doing well. Let's jump on a call. I've got some great ways to improve your business. You know, people can spot this fake relevance instantly. So that's not working. So this is what I like to call it a surface level of personalization. Again, it's just white noise. People see through it. So real relevance. This is much greater than, you know, this superficial personalization. Now, AI is powerful, but misused. So we can apply AI in this, but again, people are just using it to make more bad emails and send them out faster. So this isn't getting results. So what do we need to do? The, the real opportunity is to use AI to think, not just to type, you know, to actually give it a strategy. We wanna use it for timing, targeting, and decision-making because it can do all these things. So cold email now needs to be a system, right? Copy isn't the whole game anymore. Structure is the game now. So we need to build a system with AI lead scoring, multi-channel sequencing, and behavior-based follow-up. So AI lead scoring would actually be qualifying your leads before they even make it on a list. You know, filter out everyone that doesn't need to be there. That likely won't get you a response. Multi-channel sequencing would be um, reaching out via email, and then if that doesn't work, trying on LinkedIn, and then maybe trying some ads. And behavior-based follow-up would be, for example, if uh, you send an email, they maybe click the link, but they didn't reply to you, uh, then that would trigger maybe a LinkedIn message. So this is what's working right now. I like to call it the AI augmented approach. And what's working is scraping, analyzing, and then acting. So this is, this is responding to real-time buyer signals. This is real-time outreach. So here's another example. Uh, an AI sees a LinkedIn post uh, that maybe is describing a problem that your product or service could solve. And then it would craft an email and then send out that email at the ideal time for that client to see the email. And what really separates the winners is not what you say, but how and when you say it. Right now, AI is your strategist. It's, it's not just a writer. Stop thinking about it as just copy. Winning equals the right message at the right time to the right person. Now, strategy plus a system is much better than just clever copy alone. So to think back on it, cold email isn't completely dead, uh, but it has evolved. Lazy cold emailing is, in fact, six feet under, very much dead. So, smart, 
targeted, automated systems, this is the future. This is what I teach, this is what we talk about in my community. So, I em employ you to adapt and lead in this way, or if you're okay with it, just keep getting ghosted with those old school cold emails. Okay, final takeaways here. Stop mass blasting. Start building a real outreach machine. Precision, timing, and systems. This is what will win. So, um, if you're interested in talking more about this, come and check out my school community. The link's below. We got a great group of people there, all supporting each other, uh, building automations like these, testing them out. And hey, if you found any value in this video, even a little bit, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, like it, subscribe, so you don't miss out on any more of these easy to follow automation tips. And I'll see you in the next video.